when I had my my appointments here at UCLA Health, I met Dr. Nasari and he was the one that actually, he knew my case because he was doing his study at USC Medical Center. When I saw him again, he recognized me. He's like, he's been doing his studies on what is gonna happen today, which is uh, do a transplant of a kidney and a bladder at the same time which it will be the first time in, in humankind. Well, my hope is to have a better life. I'm still 42 and uh, I have kids that I would like to see them grow. So, you know, I did a lot of prayer. I trust the system that, that all the studies that they have done, that it could be possible to be, to be done. You know, whatever they have suggested, I go with it. Whatever studies they have asked me to do, um, then I have done it and what we hear that's. Okay. All right. Well, you got a really good kidney, so I think it's all night at recovering the kidney and the bladder. Um, and, and as you said, it's been a long time since I've seen you. Yeah. Uh, you know, really nice looking kidney uh, from a pretty healthy donor. Um, and the bladder is excellent as well. We were very meticulous with it. It's a nice looking bladder. Um, should should be good, you know. So uh, every every step has been kind of, you know, let's see, cross that bridge when we get to it. And so it's going to be nice that um, I don't know. We just keep going over the bridges, you know. Well, I'm ready when you're. All right. <laughs> This project started at the ground floor uh, with Dr. Andy Gill at USC. This was something I started as a resident. One of the reasons why I wanted to come here for further training in transplantation is because I knew within urology, transplantation or kidney transplantation is well within our scope of practice. And so um, I'm lucky to be able to bring Dr. Gill, kind of a full circle thing, because this was something we started at the, you know, in the cafeteria on the back of an envelope kind of thing. The patient was very unique in that he didn't have a bladder that was functional and he didn't have kidneys uh, and he's been on dialysis for a long time and so he's one of the patients who would benefit from a combined kidney and bladder transplant because the alternative options of using bowel right now are well, you know the gold standard but not great for someone who's been uh, going to be immunosuppressed predisposes them to infections and other issues that are not great. Whether all patients will need a bladder or not, certainly not the case. The majority of kidney transplants that are done are done kidney only. but if you don't have a bladder or if you don't have a bladder that's functioning or if the bladder is actually the cause of your kidney failure then it's a possibility that you may be considered for this. Today we did the world's first bladder transplant um, which is something that's been about four plus years in the making so really proud to be able to have done it here and help a patient who really didn't have that many great options. He's doing excellent. Uh, he's in his fourth day of recovery from surgery. Uh, everything is going as planned. His kidneys kicked in. It's working very well. Um, he's peeing clear urine, uh, which is the first time he's done it in over seven years. And uh, surgically, he's recovering quite well. Um, just normal aches and pains from surgery, but he's meeting all his milestones. He does laps around the ICU here and uh, he's eating well, having bowel movements, so couldn't have gotten any better. It does take uh, a lot of dedication, a lot of hard work, um, and after all that, a leap of faith. 